Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with another Viking Orations. Got yet another review for you today, and this time I'm going to be talking to you about the brand new EP from the band Alluvial, entitled Death is But a Door, out now through Nuclear Blast Records. And if you're not familiar with Alluvial, they are... They started out, I guess, as a more progressive death metal band. Now they're kind of considered more deathcore, gentish, which I know might frighten some people away, but definitely give these guys a chance. But yes, they are based out of Atlanta, Georgia, been around since 2016, featuring Wes Houch on guitars. He's formerly of uh, Black Crown Initiate, and also he was in The Faceless, among others. Uh, Tim Walker handling the bass. He's a former live member of uh, Entheos, another sick band. Uh, Zach Dean handling drums. And finally, Kevin Muller on the vocals. He's formerly in Pyrexia. Uh, yeah, this is the band's first EP overall, though they do have two previous full lengths. This is four tracks and just a couple of ticks over 17 minutes in length. And uh, honestly, I knew nothing about this band until I saw some friends on Facebook um, talking about the release of this EP. So, of course, I had to see what all the hype was about. And uh, I was not disappointed with what I heard when I listened to this. I mean, right away, the guitars hit you with just how heavy they are. Uh, it's mostly mid pace, but they also like to slow things down for some nice chuggy sections and throw in some pinch harmonics here and there at times. And the solos, I think, are just excellent. And I just love how, you know, the progginess of those solos really juxtaposes with the overall riffing style uh, that you get on this album or this EP, excuse me. Um, you know, though I will say the lead off track, Bog Dweller, it does start with kind of a slightly faster paced, chuggy gallop with your standard kind of, you know, din, 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 death core chugs mixed in, you know, so it's kind of like, you know, they'll be you know, galloping, then do your din, 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 then back to the gallop. But uh, yeah, you know, this is the way that that whole way of riffing this, you know, interacts with the fast double bass and the blast beats underneath of it. Just really get your head banging right off the bat. Uh, really thick tone bass on this EP with a little bit of a twang to it, easily heard throughout this entire thing, despite not being super high up in the mix. Now, when you get into track two, though, Fog Belt, here it seems like it kind of cuts through the mix just a little bit more, uh, especially around the 332 mark, and it just sounds so damn heavy. Um, I really enjoyed the drums on this EP. Really solid production, I thought, with a good snap to the snare. I loved the kick drum sound that they got. He does a lot of really cool patterns, rolls, and fills. And I just loved his, you know, blast beats and his double bass work. Very impressive. Uh, yeah. Now, Kevin, the vocalist, I think he turns in a really powerful and varied vocal performance on here. He mixes these kind of roared style vocals with more traditional lower registered growls. And then when you get into track number four, the closing track, the well, title track, Death is But a Door, he actually introduces these clean vocals to kind of trade off with the harsher growls. And they seem so emotive um, that they kind of honestly the more I listened to him, they brought to mind Kirk Weinstein and his, like, you know, emotive bellow that he does. Um, I almost wanted to stay, say initially that it was more of a shout, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of a shout, but just the way he gives the emotion in those clean vocals really brought to mind Kirk Weinstein, I thought. Uh, the only other thing I kind of picked out while listening to this is in track number three, Area Code. Uh, this song with its, you know, sort of industrial feel to it uh, brought to mind uh, Fear Factory, maybe even a little bit of Static X during the opening, because, you know, those elements right there in the opening of this song really brought those two bands to mind, but then suddenly you get the guitars just sliding in, and then you get this nice killer riff and blast beat section going on, and just absolutely sick growl over the top. A great opening to that song. Definitely one of my favorites on the uh, EP. Uh, overall, you know, going into this with no preconceived notions and, you know, just word of mouth from friends, I left a new fan of this band. I mean, it's heavy and it just gets your head banging with no real let up to it. And I definitely want to pick up the band's previous releases, both their full length albums, despite them being kind of a more proggy death metal as compared to what they're doing now. I still want to check out those two albums and kind of hear how the style has shifted over time. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. This gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 from me. Go check out Luvio and their new EP, Death is But a Door. I will be leaving a link down below to their band camp so you can check this out. Uh, pick up a copy for yourself. So yeah, really solid stuff, I think. And yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.